Hey everyone, Carla here with this week's two minute book review. This week is All the Ugly and Wonderful Things by Bryn Greenwood. Now, um, this is a new to me author. Um, I guess she's published several other books, but um, I saw this book on a bunch of summer reading lists and it looked interesting, so I decided to give it a try. It is the story of a young girl named Wavy. Her name's Wavana. Um, and she is the daughter of essentially like a Sons of Anarchy biker meth um, ring leader and a junkie. And so she is pretty much the only person who takes care of her and her little brother because her parents are either too distracted or too stoned to really care about them. Um, the only person that really shows any tenderness towards her is one of her father's uh, men, his mechanic and a part-time thug named Kellen. At the time they meet, I think Wavy's about eight and Kellen is about 22. And so he kind of becomes like a big brother or a father to her, um, making sure that she has groceries, that the house is clean, that she's getting to school, enrolls her in school when her mom can't be bothered, that sort of thing. But as they um, get a little older and she turns into a teenager, the relationship turns romantic. So <laughs> this is a weird book in a lot of ways. Um, you know, teen romance with an older man is not something that we typically would condone. But in the context of the book, because you're seeing everything through their eyes and the world they live in, it doesn't seem so far-fetched. And it's just one of those weird books that really makes you think about how things look from the outside and how things actually are from the inside. Um, it was sad. It was heartwarming. It was a little bit creepy. It was like just all of the emotions in this book, and I couldn't put it down. I'm going to say this is probably not a book for everyone because of obviously some of the, you know, Lolita undercurrents with this, even though that's really kind of not the way the book goes. Um, and also there was a ton of language in it, as you would expect from a look inside this world. But and there was also a little bit of sexual content, um, but mostly it was expressed in almost a journalistic fashion. I don't feel like she really made any judgments on what she was reporting on. She was just very honest about this is how it is. Um, and so I like it as a look into a world that I never would have seen before. I like it in a study of love. Um, so I have really mixed feelings. So this is going to be a casual recommend I should say a cautious recommend for me um, for people who like literary fiction, especially the gritty kind. But if you're a sensitive reader, you may want to give this a pass. Otherwise, I think um, it is a, a good bet for an interesting read. May not be my favorite of the summer, but it's definitely one that I will continue thinking about for a while. So um, this is All the Ugly and Wonderful Things by Bryn Greenwood. Until next time, happy reading.